We are here with World Chess Boxing Champion Matt Thomas. He's actually the voice and commentator for Ludwig, the Mogul Move first ever chess boxing event. We're in Santa Monica, by the way, it's gorgeous. And now Matt is gonna take me through a little bit of what he would do if he was training someone to get, we're gonna, we're gonna Danify the training, right? We'll Danify it. We're gonna yeah. Danify the training, but he's gonna take me through a little bit of what he would do to help someone get ready for the art of going back and forth between boxing, no hitting in the face, and then chess activities, and, I, and he's gonna take it away. So on that note, let's do it. I just went into a different mode. I'm having past life memories. I've been here before. I was meant to do this. Oh my God, Matt, Matt, I know what I'm doing here. You're a natural. I know what I'm doing, man. Oh, it was just rolled an ankle. Sorry, <laughs> cut the tape. So I'm just gonna teach you like super basic boxing stance okay. and punches. Okay. Got it. Um, so one thing I l we got some rocking music. Hell yeah! I love you. <laughs> um, six punches in boxing. Okay. Only six. Okay. Two straight shots. Okay. So jab and cross. That's one yeah, and, and two. Good. And then three and four are hooks. Okay. So elbow's gonna be at 90 degrees. Arms pal Three, parallel with the ground. Four, there you go, those are the hooks. Three, four. Yep, and then five and six are uppercuts. Okay. Okay. Five and six. Yep, but five and six. Okay. One thing I love about boxing that's really similar to chess okay. is it's about controlling space. Okay. Okay, so you control the four center squares in the center of the chess board. What can you do to your opponent? Anything, where you can go anywhere. You control the tempo of the match, right. you can right. push them into corners. It's the same with the center of the ring. So distancing, timing, and space control is really important. If you control the center of the ring, it's called ring generalship. Okay. So I can kind of push you into the rope, or I can push you into a corner, right. and then I can take away your movement, I can land my punches Please on. don't actually okay. take away yeah. me or take away my movements, but yeah. Yep. So that's, that's that's one analogy. Okay. Another analogy is punches are like pieces. Okay. Okay. So these straight shots, this one right. and two, are very predictable and right. very powerful. They're kind of like rooks. Right. Okay. Okay. And then, uh, look, the hooks are kind of sneaky. Right. Just like a, yeah. a knight. Right. Okay. Okay. And then uppercuts can kind of be like uh, diagonal punches. They're coming from okay. a different angle. Got right? it. Right. So they're kind of like bishops. Right. And then with like okay. a combination of like a rook, rook, diagonal, be a queen. Yeah. <laughs> it could be. Yeah. There you go. So that can be like a, a piece combination. You throw multiple punches in a row. That's right. like pieces working together. Right. Makes sense. I literally want to chess box now. Okay. Well, like, this is first of all, you're phenomenal at this. The explanation of that was incredible. Thanks. We're gonna start to learn the punches with actual contact. Okay. Nothing's gonna come back at you. You're okay. completely safe. All I want you to do is fully extend your punch. I'm having past life memories. One, two. Good. Full extension. Keep breathing. Good. The way you score a point in boxing is landing a punch on the head or body of your opponent. Okay. And you land it with, with force. To make it harder for your opponent to do that, instead of being square and showing a lot of the target to your opponent, you can turn mm -hmm. so that it's harder for me to come around and then score. You also get this lead shoulder closer to me, okay. which means you have more reach. Okay, uh -huh. if your shoulder's closer to me, that means that your, your arm is longer. Three I more. See. Two more. Get into a rhythm. Nice. One, two, three, four. Nice. Good. One after another. Get into a rhythm. Nice. Time. Oh my go. gosh. You ready? Okay. All right. Ah. Ready and time in. Good luck. Uh huh. Just wanted that one. There you go. I'm going to blame the chest boxing, but it might just be my. Bad tactics. <laughs> this is this is done. So All right. <laughs> good game. Okay, good game. Okay. What you want to do in between a boxing round and a chess round is start to prime your mind to use the better part of your brain for pattern recognition, strategic thought, and visualization. Frontal lobe. One way that you can do that is through breath work. You can signal to your central nervous system that it's okay to calm down, exit fight or flight, dump your adrenaline, and start to engage the part of your brain that's better for chest activities. One way to do that yeah. is, is really slow down your breath. You wanna do intentional inhales, get a lot, a lot of oxygen in, and then very long exhales. 
for, for chess boxing, you have five minutes down in, in like championship rounds or world championship stuff. That's a long time for your body to kind of be cold before revving back up to get back into boxing. So you want to psych yourself back up and you can do that through fire breath. Um, so it's, it's another breath from yoga where you're hyperventilating, you're, you're compressing your abdominals to massage your organs around, which releases adrenaline and gets you like going. Dude, that was incredible. I just got my first ever <laughs> chess boxing lesson from someone who I now want to call the chess boxing guru. I don't know why, <laughs> but that's like what's coming out of coming out of my mouth and my brain right now. Dude, that was incredible. It will get you to be a and human weapon in no time. Dude, that honestly <laughs> felt great. Yeah. Shout out to the fact that like he's pretty good at this. He should have some sort of place or channel where he's doing this. Oh, twist ending, he does. <laughs> yeah, moving with Matt. Moving with Matt, uh, Sorry. And, and it's not just moving like physically, it's it's mental movement. Fitness for chess players, fitness for gamers, fitness awesome. for everything. Life, yeah. yeah. Moving with Matt, check it out. Cool. Peace, everybody. <laughs>